Hey guys, Rick Personas here, back with another video. In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a drop like Raven and Crane and Retrovision. So, we're gonna be remaking Nobody Else, and the final result will sound like this. So, if on these presets right away, make sure to take Future Bounce from 3 and the preset back for the other sounds you need to make this kind of music. Besides that, all these presets are included as well. So now, first we're gonna make the bass line sounding like this. So we're gonna make it from scratch. So it's like a preset. We're gonna go for a square wave, right? So the A. Lower down one octave. Put up four unisons. Slightly detune it. Then we're gonna filter it with a low 18, cut off around here, some drive and fatness. Then we're gonna shape the envelope a little bit, decay around 400, sustain around halfway, and some release. Then we're gonna route it to the cutoff, to around here. Scanning this already gives a character of the baseline. So now we're going to filter it in the effects. It's lacking that formant sound a little bit, so we're going to add a formant filter. Put a drive around here. The formant just around here. It's a bit too much, so let's lower down the mix to around 75. Now we're going to add some hyper dimension. A little bit of hyper. A little bit of hyper. Quite a lot of dimension. Now we're gonna distort it with a hard clip. Add some chorus effect to it. Just lower down the mix. Now we're gonna add some phaser to thicken it up a little bit more. We're gonna drag down the frequency to around here. That's some cueing. Gonna boost the heights a little bit with the envelope to make it a bit more punchy. And same for the low end. To bring the bass a little bit more. And that's the bass line. So the second pattern, it's the same bass but just an octave higher. So to get the bass is sound like this. Then we have the third bass line sounding like this. So you can see it's a formant wave table. We add from one to the wave table position. So without, it sounds a bit more static because there's no movement in there. Besides a bit of a monologado and always to add some more slide effects. So without without all effects, it sounds like this. So we add some distortion, some OTT. The OTT really fixed it up a little bit more. And just cut the heights a little bit. And again, the form is filter to get the form and sound to it. Now for the last bass, it's the same as the first as later. But then just without an octave sound, sounding, I guess. So then we're gonna make the chords. Sounding like this. So I'm saying the presets. Go over to saw waves. With 8 unison. That's gonna be slightly less detuned. Then we're gonna fill it with a high 12. Just to cut off all the lows to the sounds. Add some more drive. Then shape the envelope a little bit more. Just some more release. I shape the envelope to like this, just a really short envelope. Right to the master tuning. And drag it down. Snare. So give this kind of effect. A bit too much, so let's bring it back up. Now we're gonna add a noise to it. Just a small amount. Now we're gonna dive in the effects. First on the mansion, 
gonna load on the master form a little bit because it's clipping. Then we're gonna add some phaser. And mix them properly. Just one here. That's a compression. Put the threshold down. And then gain it a little bit up. And add some reverb, EQing. And delay. So we're gonna low cut the delay. The ping pong. Save for the reverb. And we're gonna cut off the lows to remove the bass line. And boost a little bit of the highs. Then we're gonna bring back the master up. So on here. So together it's sounded like this. So we only need to cover the drums. First have the kick drum. With a clap. Just some thumbs for some more groove. Just a second bar every time. Just another clap. Just like this. So all together, it sounds like this. And that's it for the retro vision and Raven and Crane style drop. So if you like the video, please leave a like. We're gonna see more at the subscribe button. And I'll see you all in the next videos.